I've been wanting to add a lightweight CMS to my static sites for a while, so I decided to check out the Netlify CMS project. The first thing I did was I added an admin folder to my project, and then an index.html file and a config.yaml file inside there. If you go to the Netlify CMS docs, they have a template that you can just use for your index.html file, and they also give you some basic keys and values to put into your config.yaml file as well. I wanted to set up my own authentication because I'm not hosting the site with Netlify, so I went to the section that described the different ways to do this. If you scroll down on that page, you'll see that there's a Node.js application with a link to the repository. So the first thing I did was clone this repository locally. I already did this on the command line, so if I switch over to that, you'll notice that I'm already in the project folder. If I list the files in here, they should mirror what you see in the GitHub repository. The next thing I did was I went to Heroku so I could set up a free app. I needed to install the Heroku command line tools in order to do this. So I added the repository, and then I ran the curl command that they specified. After that, I updated my package manager. And then I was able to install the Heroku command line tools from the repository that we added. I was able to verify this was working by typing the command Heroku. Then per the instructions on the Heroku page, I verified the versions of software I'm running on my machine. So first I checked Node.js version, and then I checked the NPM version, and finally I made sure I had the right version of Git. In my case I had newer versions than all the specified versions on Heroku, so I thought I was okay. Then I skipped the prepare an app section because I had already cloned my application. And if I do TIG, you can see that it's all set up with Git. I made sure to create the Heroku project. And then I spent a little time trying to remember my credentials to Heroku. After finally figuring that out, we had created our app. And then I was able to push to Heroku. The next thing I did was I registered a new OAuth application with GitHub. So I set the application name. I just named it Heroku Auth budget.boston.gov Then I ensure that the instance is running and I went to the actual URL for the instance and it looked like it was working so I grabbed the URL from the web page And it wasn't working since it wasn't actually connected to the OAuth app yet. But I grabbed the URL from the page and I put it as the homepage URL on the OAuth application on GitHub. I left the optional description blank. And then I put the callback URL, which is just the app URL forward slash callback. And you can verify that by going to the application. Notice that there's no error. If you put a bad URL on there, you should get an error message. And then I registered my application. And that exposes the client ID and the client secret, which is needed for the final step of the setup. Now you could set up the client ID and secret with an environment file, a .emv file, and this GitHub page shows you how you would go about doing that. It would look something like this. But what I ended up doing was I actually used a Heroku command line command from this post here to set the 
ID and the secret on Heroku. And that way it's not put into version control, which wouldn't be secure. So I ran that command and it seemed to set it up okay. And then I just went to the configuration file that that, that post provided. And I grabbed a couple key values from that post. So I needed to set up the base URL key. And that goes in your config.yaml file inside your admin folder. And then I made sure to set it to the actual app URL of my project. Note that you should remove the trailing slash from this URL. And then I quickly went and cloned the repository from the City of Boston repository to my local repository. That way I could just write to that instead of the main repository. Once that was set up, locally I set up a new remote for that repository on my own personal GitHub page. And then in the config, I just went and I added the repo. And used the namespace of my personal repository. Then I rebuilt the site to make sure these changes were reflected in the actual site build. And when I went to my local project forward slash admin, I was presented with the Netlify CMS login screen. But every time that I tried to actually log into it, I was getting these post errors, the 404 not found. Basically what was happening is I had accidentally set up in my config.yaml file a name of git gateway, which is actually looking to Netlify for the repository. So I needed to change this to GitHub manually. Then when I reran the build, and I went and actually visited my site. I was finally presented with the actual authentication to GitHub using the app that I had set up on Heroku. Then I was given this pop-up dialog and I authorized it with my GitHub account. And from there, I was actually presented with the Netlify CMS. Although my configuration's a little off and I didn't update that for this video, I actually was able to log in finally. So hopefully that's helpful. Thanks for watching.